The anniversary of a historic event is being celebrated right here in Topeka with a march. KSNT News reporter Lindsay Lund joins us live to show us how history is repeating itself. Lindsay. Kelly, 25 years before marches protesting the deaths of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, there was a million man march. Hundreds of thousands of people gathered at our nation's capital, and today a large group gathered at our state capital to honor them. Courtney Dillard grew up in Topeka before leaving for Atlanta, but today he traveled back to his hometown to share some of the values he learned here and has carried with him his whole life. What it looks like for a person that left 30 years ago to come back with such a bold, clear, and confident voice to talk about the very value system that I learned in Topeka. Dillard was just one of many speakers whose voices could be heard throughout the lawn of the Kansas State Capitol on Saturday as people celebrated the spirit of the Million Man March. This march happened October 16th in the year 1995 when Louis Farrakhan asked for black men to come together in D.C. and hear from speakers about ways to improve themselves, their families, and their communities. They came from all over and they came on buses, riding with each other, just to come that day to do a, a moment of atonement. As a way to remember that historic day, Lisa Davis decided to organize a similar event in hopes of showing Topeka's younger black men successful older black men and to offer them advice on how to become leaders. It was so important then, and it was like almost a million people there. And so I, want, I knew we were not going to get nothing like that. But I thought we should recognize it. Men attending march from the Judicial Center to the state capitol. But you have never failed me yet. Then they heard from musicians, singers, and speakers about topics like the responsibility of a man and how to turn one's life around if they made mistakes, as well as the importance of voting. Their voice um, is important. Their ability to capture the responsibility of voting is very important. However, there was another message hoping to be displayed at the march. The organizer hopes that this shows black people in a positive light to the Topeka community. Our president that said we're thugs and I wanted them to see us in a positive light and to see that we are able to come out and be on a one accord. She hopes this event helps inspire the younger generation of black men who will go out into the world holding these values with them, just like Dillard did. Um, it is probably the greatest thing that I've done this year by far is just to come home, stand on the Capitol steps and talk to the people about voting. And the organizer of the event also hopes to continue having smaller events in the future so that the message behind the Million Man March is not forgotten. Live in downtown Topeka, Lindley Lund, KSNT News.